Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Babili from Coda World and today we're going to talk about data binding. Um, actually data binding is a very essential part of any Windows Phone 8 application. It's very important to manage your data into a stable structure that you can build the rest of the data on it. So uh, we're going to make in the first part, which is this video, we're going to make uh, a binding to a single item. First, we're going to explain data binding. We have a target and a source. So we can take in our example, the target will be a text box and the source will be a class. So Let's start. We create a new project on Blend, and we choose Windows Phone application, the blank application, and we call it Data Binding Sample. Part one. Here we go. We wait for the application to get loaded. And here we start. Uh, first, let's change the page name to. Where is the page name here? Here we go. Data binding part one. And we go here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get a text box and put it here and let's make it like this okay let's go to XAML and add we want it as read only so we add it here um okay now the real work will start so let's move to visual studio um in visual studio we're going to do the coding part which is creating a class um in this okay um so we're going to make a class We start public class. So we're going to bind or display actually a personal data. So let's call it personal info. And uh, let's see here for the constructor. Here we set the constructor. Okay. Uh, in this class, in for sure, if you know about C sharp and classes, you know that every class consists of methods and properties or variables. So we have this constructor of the class, and we're going to receive the ID and the name. And then the age, age. So the ID, let's make it an integer. So int ID string username and in the end int age. We can see that since C sharp is uh, case sensitive language so I was doing the sm small letters for purpose let's see why um, let's leave this here at start now we're going to create to create the properties so public int ID 
get set. Um, I think yeah, everyone here knows about C sharp. So properties are more than variables. They're variables with methods, and you can put a lot of. They can do a lot of work. Just a, as just a variable, you can make a lot of things. But for now, we're going to just show you how to how they work with data binding. So we continue. So we have string here, username, and get set. And then in the end into uh, public in age and we do the same okay we did this now the data we're going to get we're going to assign it to these variables so you can use them inside the class so we're going to say that ID the property is equal to the ID that one was got from the user and the same for username is equal to the small case username of the arguments and age is equal to the small letter small case letter age so we have here now we're going to create the override. So, um, public public override string to string and here we see it, we're going to return the result. So the result will be ID is as we showed ID. And name So we're going to add this one to add a line username and h here we go okay so we did the class as we can see and you assign the values here inside the constructor. So we have now to mind how to bind it. We bind it from XAML and also in the main page. After initializing the application, we have here to do the text box. Okay, did we name the text box in Visual Studio 2012? You have the name. You have to name the tool. For example. Let's wait for the designer. If we click on it, it has no name. So let's call it text box one. And we go back here. We can't see it. So what's the thing between the binding? It's the data context that takes the data. So that dot data context equal new okay now we have to choose what's the name of the class personal info so here we create a new object of the class that has the arguments and is going to the constructor after it's initialized so let's choose a name for example um, let's choose a name like David oh First, I have to start with the ID, so let's choose a random number. And for a name, choose David, for example. And for age, let's put him as 25. OK, 
okay. And we add years here. Okay. Let's see. Build succeeded. Let's see if we can see the result. Oh, it's not showing. Actually, the, the reason is because we didn't bind the text box itself. We have to go to XAML. Every tool here, it has the text property, which is here, and we have to assign it to binding. So, let's check again. Build succeeded. And here we see the details. So, I think now you have some like some knowledge about data binding and I know it might take time to master it's kind of it's an, especially for dotnet developers who use a SQL server maybe they weren't used to it so it's a new thing actually um, but it's easy if uh, if you practice it and you make your work on the examples until you understand the structure of it. So this is the part one of the video and we're going to continue with more advanced techniques of data binding with part two. Thank you very much for listening.